full review of my stack. Now this application is only for Mac platforms only and it's around four dollars in US and about two pound in the UK. Now this application is a fantastic application if you just want to look at your system what it's doing in the, you know, in the split second instead of using it for iStat. Now for some of you who don't know who, what iStat is that will come a later review but for a simple uh, sort of you know index of what it is, it's basically um, a you know running background system that actually runs on your menu bar on your Mac. Um, it's very simple to see and very easy to use. But that, as I said, that comes later review. So we're talking about MyStat now. Of course, MyStat is a really good application. It's cheap and also it's a very, 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 very informative. Um, it you know basically checks your whole Mac system, tell you what your CPU is doing, memory, and whatever is using on your Mac and what's it using up basically. Now let's go and look at the actual application itself. Um, it's really cool. Um, it's got a real sort of like uh, robotic sort of space sort of like you know theme to it, I guess. Um, here you can see I've got my CPU, I've got my user system uh, nice and idle. So it's telling me all the percentages, uh, percentages down here as you can see. Uh, load average, task threads and update time and so on and so forth. And you can see here you've got this really cool sort of like um, you know animated power graph of what's going on. So you can see all the spikes and so on, whatever. Um, and down here you have your memory, so you have your wired, activity, inactive, and free. Uh, it's got a little pie chart here to tell you what's, you know, which one's color, well, whatever's colored um, will be in a color chart here to tell you which one's which. Um, and then down here as well, the exact same here as there, you know, basically just giving it more informative. Um, and also you have your network, so what your network is doing, so it's flat line or, you know, peaking high. Um, and down here you can have your disk usage, so I have my iMac, um, it tells you how much gigabyte it has um, and how much the actual iMac is using to actually run this application and so on and so forth. And here I have my hard drive, um, you know, it's telling me what I've got in there and how much I can, you know, how much compatibility I can have it, I can't say it right, um, how much free space there is and so on and so forth. Uh, down here you're going to have disk activity as well. You have your read and write and also peak read and a peak write. So you can see here it's got this little paragraph like all of these have. So that's really cool and very informative to use. Down here you have processes. So you have all the different processes that are running on your Mac now and tell you the percentages of percentages, I can't say it right, um, of how much it's using. So basically ScreenFlow is using 53% of my Mac's uh, memory, I'll oh, say hard drive, whatever. Um, anyway, um, you can see here my stats only using 3.3 or 5.3. Uh, it's sort of flipping it in and out. So as you can see, it's just really simple to use and very very easy to use as well. So if you want to be, you know, the sort of people that know understand these sort of things, you would understand it easily, as it's got this color chart on the side here and index here to show the the actual live view. Now there's no settings in here, so you can see you have your close. Uh, minimize zoom, uh, bring to all the front or my stats, got it help, and that's it basically. Um, so you can't really, um, you know, customize it as you wish to. Uh, it comes as it comes. Um, so you know, it's not going to be customized if you want to customize it, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, do I really recommend it for anyone who uses a Mac? Um, yes, I would recommend it for anyone who would use a Mac, and yes, I would you know, recommend you buy it only because it's only about. Two pound in the UK and four dollars in the US, so that's kind of cheaper than the actual my uh, sorry iStat, um, you know, application they're presenting. Um, as I said, that iStat will be coming in later review, but this one I'm talking about my stat is you know kind of application to buy. Um, you know, if you want to check your system preferences, then yes, this will be the one for you to actually have um, on your Mac. So yeah, that really ends a review of my stat, and that's very quick and short. And no, um, but yeah, that's just how simple it is really. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you very soon on my next couple of videos.